As always before every single patch, the developers always treat us with a very special sneak peek on what's to come and everything that's changing, as well as some reveals to the new hero skills. So in this video, we're going to be reacting to the new video posted by the official Call of Dragons channel, where we check out every single thing that is new that is coming in the 1.0.20 update. What is up guys, Meow are here back with a brand new Call of Dragons video. So new update 1.0.20 is right on the horizon, which is coming probably tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I guess it is coming tomorrow. Or is it on the 15th? So that is tomorrow. It's coming tomorrow at 3 UTC. But that's in a few hours. Hey, yo, hype time, baby. Choo choo. So uh, the, 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 develop, uh, the developers, as usual, tend to release a video showcasing everything that is coming. So that's what we're going to be reacting to this uh, in this video. So be sure to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. As always, Leo and Asia look so amazing, as always. And yes, I am a Leo and Asia <laughs> So beautiful intro. So the new spires here. See, this is the new building that was mentioned in the uh, patch notes. It's got a decent, uh, decent survivability. A lot of packs here as well. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Um, seems like participation rewards, 100 gems, 20 prestige, 4,000. Is that 20,000 alliance credits? And a few resources here. Huh. It seems like it has also an auto attack function, and it's standing on a bridge. Oh, no. More choke point gaming. Okay, and it seems like there is a new <laughs> new type of turret as well. So the spires are going to be a map, related right, to the map, and the new turrets here. They're going to be like barricades, I guess. Allows your... Uh, so there's going to be a fire turret, ice turret, and poison turret. Interesting. Inflict confirm what? So the fire turret allows your legions to build fire turrets. Fire turrets do heavy damage to target legions. Ice turret... Allows your legions to build ice turrets. Ice turrets deal damage and reduce their march speed, of course. And poison turrets allow your legions to build poison turrets. Poison turrets deal damage to target legions and inflict infirm. If you don't know, infirm is one of the most busted debuffs out there because it decreases all damage dealt to the target from your friendly legions. So, oh boy, imagine having an Indus on steroids that actually does damage. <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Seems like this is also some of the new reworked uh, policy tree. Uh, medical progress is new. Medic healthcare reforms. It seems like this is all the new policy. Defense pushback is new, and augmented defenses is also new. But resource siege and counter defense merits. All these are new. This is the new. Prestige policy tree seems nice. So they can automatically attack, and we can see here from the UI that uh, it has a decent range, I guess. Here, let's check this. So, so it comes within the range. You can only be built this on alliance territory, and it's upgradable. Oh no, even more choke point gaming. So we're finally getting also the new reveal to the hero skills Goresh and Skogel. So let's see what they're all about. Okay, so Skogel's rage skill. Skogel's legion. Wait, why is Alwyn a legendary commander here? Hello? Is this new? Alwyn legendary commander next confirmed. Mm hmm? So, Skogel's Legion gains Vigor and Blood Fury, Fury for 2 seconds. Vigor, of course, if you don't know, it just increases 
your base HP by X amount seems to scale up to 15%, which is decent, I would say. Infantry love HP, but Blood Fury. Blood Fury. And Legion deals an addition counterattack damage every second to all Legions at close range when they launch a normal attack at your Legion. But How much though? But Okay. Target Legions take 15% less counter damage. Counterattack damage from Blood Fury with each additional target. Up to 50% reduction? You already deal around 50% less counterattack when you're hit by ranged attacks. What? I guess it's just for anti swarming infantry? But can this even crack Madeline? I don't know. I'm gonna have to test this to check this out. So, her second skill, Unshakable. All infantry gain physical attack and HP. Okay, that's nice. Guerrilla Tactics. While in the field, Scorpio's Legion gains 60% march speed every time they rampage and 1% attack every time they launch a normal attack, up to a maximum of 25% attack. So, within 25 turns or 25 seconds in battle or less, depending on how many people you're hitting, you're gonna be getting a whopping 25% attack. How much infantry, how much attack does infantry usually have though? Ooh, that's not that bad, I guess. Okay. Skogul's Legion has a 10% chance to receive healing when hit with a normal attack. Up to 350. Oh, this is kind of meh. Healing in Call of Dragon in general is sort of uh, underwhelming. Wait, why does she have the mobility tree? Wasn't she supposed to be tank, uh, infantry, PvP, and tank? Did they change this in the patch notes? Or is this just not final? Where's Coco? Oh, they removed her attributes here. They used to show Coco was uh, PvP, infantry, and tank, while uh, Goresh was rally. Okay, what about her awakened? Infantry units in Scorbo's Legion deal 10% more counterattack. Okay, so it seems like this whole build is all about counterattack, but counterattack infantry? What's the point when archers exist? Hmm. I don't think they're gonna survive that much to counterattack, really. Because the way in, the way counterattack works in Call of Dragons is that uh, melee units deal 50% less counterattack to range units. So, well, yeah, you're gonna be able to deal with other main melee marches, your whole job as an infantry is just to hold the line so your range marches do their work. So uh, questionable, questionable, especially with this choke point gaming era we have on right now. What about Goresh? Oh, she's also she also can be gotten from the Wheel of Destiny as soon as you land in the new season, and she also can be gotten from the Wheel of Fortune, which should be interesting. Anyway, Goresh. Goresh's Legion gains physical keen and resistance for two seconds, which scales up to six seconds. We haven't seen any of her other skills give Rampage as well. What did what did the Rampage usually give? What is Rampage? Rampage. So the extra damage dealt bonus is Rampage, it seems, but none of her get the I don't remember any talent providing Rampage in general either. Pretty weird. Okay, so Goresh is the rally commander. Goresh's legion gains physical keen and resistance for two seconds, so they deal fifty percent attack bonus. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and takes fifteen percent less attack for six seconds. So both of them scale up to six seconds, which has a chance to infantry rage cycle if you're hit by multiple people. Okay, infantry units in Goresh's Legion gain 5% defense and deal 5% more counterattack. Again, more counterattack. So, um, uh, so we're looking at maybe a break-even point for counterattack infantry. Will that even be viable? I need to test this in the field, though. It says here, infantry, rally, and tank. So they switched it. It's just, it was supposed to be infantry, rally, and uh, precision. So, if it was precision, it would have made more sense, but right now, 
neither of their talents make sense with their skills. So I don't get it. There are no precision trees, the best tree in general for counterattacking. And everything about those two says counterattack, precision or control tree. And neither of them have access to either of them. So what's the point of this? Okay, so anyway, um, wait, okay, this is a third skill. Ruthless. When Goresh's Legion launches a counterattack, they have 50% chance to deal an additional damage up to five surrounding legions. So same principle as, Gor as Kogo, pretty much. Each additional target, legion targeted, reduces damage taken by 50%. So this is the same fat idea as the skill damage factors dealt by artifacts where the more people you hit, the less damage you'll deal overall. And he's also an SLE Wheel of Destiny Commander. When sieging a city or stronghold, if you don't know what a stronghold is, pretty much all the anything that can be rallyable pretty much is considered stronghold. Guilds 20% attack. You know, it kind of feels like this is just better off. This is just budget archers, pretty much. Like wh why would I use counterattack infantry when counterattack archers are viable? Anyway, his Awakened skill kind of improves his Rage skill, where he deals 60% physical attack and takes 20% less damage. Okay, so thoughts on these new commanders. Why would I build counterattack build for infantry when there's nothing in their trees augmenting counterattack whatsoever? And why would I bother with counterattack from infantry when counterattack archers exist? Uh, pretty much it. I mean, I could see it going full all in the infantry tree just to pick up last word here and a few other stuff here. You no, know, but what's the point? There are better options. <sighs> I'm gonna have to see them in action to truly get my opinion on this, but for now, again, what's the point? Better options exist. Spiritborn Turk. So this is the new legendary artifact. Um, gains 600 rage points. Ooh, you gain rage when you cast this? That's pretty nice. 600, so that's almost a rage cast. So if you time it correctly, you can instantly rage cast twice. I would assume. So gains 600 rage points and taunts up to 5 surrounding enemy legions. Forcing them to attack you. So you pretty much have now a PvP taunt like the one that is present for PvE. Gains infantry unit defense and legion defense, so that's always nice. It has potential to be one of the best artifacts, not gonna lie. Taunting people, like, you can just go in. If you can somehow get into the back line with this map that is full of choke points as an infantry and you taunt players, you're gonna melt everyone. But the problem is getting there course, but it has potential. I like this artifact. It has a very nice playstyle, it seems. It also gains shelter. And what? And determination. Determination is a new is a new thing. I've never seen determination before, I think. Before I say this though, let me check. Any determination? Determination? I don't know what determination is. Oops. Okay, the new Night Owl, or Night Rock, but we haven't seen her skills yet, so I don't know. Let me drop a like. So the new commanders, like, on paper they seem really strong, but in reality, we're gonna need to see them in action, because right now, as the map stands, <laughs> what are the chances of you even getting into close combat with uh, the, the range units so you can shred them with your entirely counter-attack build and a lot of attacks. So right here, infantry in this choke point right here are just blockers pretty much. They've they've just devolved down into using the blink artifact and blocking the path for everyone else. Which I can see that happening maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Nice. I love that change.
nice. Reset me, Leo. Reset me. So yeah, Dust isn't for resetting either. You can see here, hero levels, tactics, manuals, CP items, policies, other, but Dust is not, is no longer there. Dust, it used to be in that UI. Let me see here. Where was it? Where was it? Am I blind? Oh, found it. See? Arcane Dust, no longer there. Dragon Trail is also no longer there. So that confirms it. Wait, I don't see merits here either. Oh, there is. Never mind. Never mind. Arcane Dust will remain. We made a little video on this change that it could it's pretty much a double-edged sword. So you can start the season with your full alliance, but it kind of makes it super hard to recruit players. So we need to see this in action because I think it's a double-edged sword pretty much. I'll leave the link to the video on the top of the screen. Six affiliated regions. Six. Wasn't it four usually? So I'm guessing they're re-changing the map. Distorted by Dark Forces, the regions of Belleron have shifted at the start of new season. Players can choose from six affiliate regions. Okay, so that's new, because we usually have four. Off the coast of Belleron lies a hallowed island renowned as neutral. Now, shortly after season begins, players may travel to this island and gather their strength. So this is a new map. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just screams Chuckle Gaming. That's a change I don't like. I really don't like that change. Because what if you get bombarded out of your starting zone after the first seven days? That's it. You're done for the season. Or what are you supposed to do? I don't like that change at all. I think that change should be revisited. The resurgence change for sure should be represented. So we're pretty much trapped in our initial. We're just trapped in our initial starting alliance till the end of the season. That is such a backwards change. People love to free them and be able to experiment everywhere. Why would you trap people if they're in a bad alliance? So that is such a bad change. I don't like it at all. No, no, far like games. No, ch -ch -ch. no, bad, bad change, bad change. Okay, the new events. Okay, the new event is coming. I think I saw one of its, um, where is it here? Is this it? Uh, this one, the Behemoth Raids. And that'd be super nice to see it in action though. I would love to see that in action. Nine million gems! Nine million gems! I want, I want those gems! I want those gems! Give me those gems! Give me those gems! Oh, level 8 forts! Is that less XP now? And less books, but prestige. 4.8k only from a level 8 fort? That is so low! Wait, 
What about the people that have finished the pro season stories? Because I have finished all my stories here. Does that mean I'm going to be getting all the prestige bent up as well? I should be, hopefully, right? I don't want to be punished for finishing something old. Relevant of that. Why? Why? If I want to choose Zone, I would just go play Farmville. What's the point of this? We already have a choose film, which is Zone 1. What? <laughs> this is just tailored to a crybaby's needs. What is this change, bro? No, bad, bad, bad change. And I see level 40 Darklings on the field as well. Level 43 gives 15k? How much does level 25 give? Isn't that a flat nerf? Yeah, level 25 gives 30k XP. That should be a placeholder, right? How's that better rewards? Okay. That is a change I really love. That is a change that I really love, especially because you can just because you just keep spamming darkling guards, darkling guards, and you eventually find something good. So that's a really nice change. Mm -hmm. Policies look really nice. Oh, I see then the changes to the resource healing. Mana healing should definitely be your first to max out. But it seems like they haven't really touched that much on elixir healing, unless I'm wrong and they've completely got it. What is wrong with this mouse? Resource production has been moved daily. Further increases. How much does this usually give? Policy here doesn't show. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, wait. The bloopers. <laughs> As always, a Leo blooper. Okay, hefty update. A lot of changes tailored to crybabies and interesting choice of new commanders. Very weird update, I would say. I mean, I need to see it to test it myself to really get my opinion, but a lot of changes I don't really personally like, not gonna lie. I don't like the idea of a true zone, I don't like the resurgence change. And I'm really curious on how inf these new infantry will work in this choke point gaming meta we have going on. Because hopefully, I mean, hopefully they changed a little bit from their region map, I would assume. But we're going to have to wait and see this once the new season begins. And on that note, thank you for watching, I guess. <laughs> I know it's a long video, but I just love reacting to this video general let me know if you want to see more reaction videos in general to maybe other content creator videos as well maybe it could be a new format we can explore but uh yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video if you did please don't forget to drop a like don't forget to subscribe join the discord the link is in the description and i will see you in the next video meow meow